Alright guys, so a few days ago we finally got another Battlefront 2 trailer. It is the official launch trailer. It was uh, published by EA Star Wars on October 30th of 2017. And I finally got around to watching it. Let me say, there were some things that I saw that I don't think people really saw. So we're going to jump into it, and we're going to look at some of the things that I think you missed in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 launch trailer. Alright guys, so the first picture we have here is of the companies making the game. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but right next to the EA logo, there is actually the DICE logo. Now, I don't know if you know DICE, but DICE has made a lot of the Battlefield and Battlefront games. They are a legit company, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that DICE was responsible for making this game because not a lot of people noticed it. You probably noticed the EA logo and the Motive Criterion logo, but not a lot of people probably noticed the DICE logo. Alright guys, so we finally moved on to Picture 2. In Picture 2, there is a scene of Clone Troopers, or Storm Troopers, rather. Uh... I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but these stormtroopers in the back, First Order stormtroopers, by the way, just to clarify, they're actually getting off in droves to go and attack the resistance. I don't know if you guys knew this. There's also some in the back, but the ones in the front are probably the most important. These are the ones that are going to make the biggest impact on whatever battle is happening here. Alright guys, so we have a picture here of the Empire versus the Rebels. Now I don't know if you've realized this, you've probably seen the guy in the front with the helmet. That is a Rebel. You've probably seen the giant AT Walker, that is definitely of the Empire. But what you didn't notice is the little Stormtrooper way in the back. Now this guy is going to give these Rebels a really hard time because he is up high. And you know that having a higher position in battle is the most advantageous thing you can do. So this guy is gonna, whoever gets on this map when you're in the game, and you get that field of view, that point, that that perspective, you're gonna have control of the entire region. Alright guys, so we have here in front of us, we have a First Order uh, Flame Trooper. Now I don't know if you've known this or not, but his gun, it's not actually a gun, it is a flamethrower. I don't know if you can see the flames coming out of it. I tried to circle it as best as possible, but there are flames coming out of this giant gun. Now, you're looking at the blue line around it, and that is the actual gun he is holding. I don't know what model, what type this gun is, but let's hope that when we're, we're in-game, we get some clarification. Alright guys, so I don't know if you know this or not, but if you look in the very front of this picture right here, don't don't look at the droids in the background, but, but if you look in the very front, you can see a very iconic image from the prequels. You can see here, you can see Darth Maul. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Darth Maul was a pretty cool character, and it's going to be really fun if we get to play Darth Maul and be on the side of the Separatists fighting clone troopers. How cool is that going to be? This game has me super hyped. Alright guys, and I have the very last picture here. Uh, the very last picture is of the title card, Battlefront 2. Now, a lot of people have figured out that above Battlefront 2, it says Star Wars. But what I thought was really cool is that secretly, really hidden in the very front, EA has cleverly put their logo right on the title, the main uh, logo of the game. I thought this was really cool because they're the ones publishing it. They're the ones that are doing all the stuff for the game. And I thought it was really, really nice. It, it was a really nice touch by EA. And that's all the pictures I have for you today. I hope that you, like me, learn something here. Because I learned a lot from going back and watching it about 15 times to really get a good, good hard glimpse at what is in store for us in Battlefront 2. I am really excited for this game, and I hope you are just as excited because this game is going to blow Battlefront 1 out of the water. It's going to blow all the old Battlefront games out of the water. This game's going to be great, and I know it's going to be great, and we're all going to love it. Thanks for watching.